Now, you know that um, I have a, a son and a daughter-in-law and two grandsons who live in your state in Bend, Oregon, a great, great community. Uh, love visiting there. It was there at Christmas time. Uh, and Oregon is unique in that it's one of two states where you cannot pump your own gas. <laughs> That's true. Uh, and it's also one of the few states where everybody votes by mail. How's that working? It's working so well. It stops all of the voter suppression tactics. These tactics that are used to try to discourage people from voting by changing the hours, changing the locations, giving misinformation, uh, and you have a recountable ballot. And therefore, there's great confidence in the authenticity of, of the system. Uh, I, I was a little sad to lose the, the civic exercise of going to the polls together. But when I started walking door to door the first time I ran for the Oregon State House, person after person, when I asked them what would they like to, what did they like or dislike, they said, I don't like the potholes in the street. Of course, well, it was more a city issue than a state issue. Yeah. They said, but I really love being able to vote at my kitchen table so I can talk with my spouse about it. I can get my children there and talk, talk it through on the initiatives that we have in Oregon. We can read all the literature for and against it. Uh, and I, and the especially seniors were saying it's so much better than having to negotiate traffic and rush out and face the mob on election day and i could see that uh, that gave me a whole different insight on it before mm-hmm. i even got to the issues of voter suppression uh and uh, re- recounts and so uh, it's working extremely well and i we should have a paper ballot at least the requirement of a paper recountable ballot for any vote cast uh, for president uh, and it also it, uh, avoids this problem, which you indicate, of that, it, that it's only one day. It has to be a Tuesday, right? And you, or for example, usually is, and you've got to get out there. A lot of people just can't make it, right? And they can. No, that's that's right. And what both parties do from the, from the moment the ballots are mailed, they start, you know, because you're always calling people to say, "Hey, make sure you vote." Well, we can actually tell if they voted because the, the vo- every night the the. Uh, folks who have voted are reported publicly, so you can strike them off your list. You don't have to bother them anymore. Call them after that. because there's an incentive to vote. So we get higher turnout, and I, I think more thoughtful about voting. What about voter turnout? Do, yeah, do it's, it, it beats the national average. It's, it's one of the highest in the nation. And we now have automatic, we just have this in this last year, but automatic registration when you get a driver's license. You can opt out, but it's an automatic opt-in unless you, unless you opt out.